Hi, it's Steve here from the Stone Crafting Workshop. Welcome back. I'm going to start a new tumble. And this particular run, these stones here, I picked up in Devon. We went to Devon last year with the family and the grandchildren. And wandering along the beaches, I found some lovely stones. To my shame, I can't actually remember which beaches we went to and where I picked these up from. They were just kind of all lumped together. The reason I was really interested in these is because a lot of them are translucent, which I don't find a lot of in my local neck of the woods. If you look at that one, can you see the light actually shining through the stone? Really quite interesting. And all of these ones in this little pile are like that. I mean, that one really fascinates me. I, you know, I don't know if you can see that, but um, this one here, same thing, the light just shining through the end there. There we go, you can see it through the end here. Really interesting, I mean look at that one, it's just like, you know, a glass window or something. Same with that one, look. Fascinating, isn't it? I get, I almost never pick up stones on my local beach that are translucent. Almost never. I can't think of one. This is just a piece of broken quartz. I thought I'd throw that in just to try that. Um, I've actually got a big pebble of that, which I'm going to cut up rather than... This, I, I tried smashing some of it and it really breaks badly. So I don't hold out a lot of hope for that. But I'm going to cut that pebble up and one day put the lot through. But look at the light shining through that one. And this one. Um, this one I wasn't sure about. I can't make up my mind whether the light shining through it or not. Just, just seems to be it. It's a lovely red colour. So I'll give it a go. Look at that. Isn't that interesting? Look. It's, it's almost got a quartz interior to it. That that one's going to be fascinating. And that there. And look at that. Just I just think the colours coming through look fantastic. I'm really looking forward to doing these. Look at that. Is that amazing or what? I'm not blinding you with the torch with this thing. Look at that. So they're the ones, they're the ones that are translucent. And these other ones, there are just some interesting stones there. I thought this one would be translucent. It looks as though it ought to be. But in actual fact, it is. Look, I've missed it. I went through them and I just missed this one. A lovely red colour in that. Okay, that definitely goes on the pile. But a lot of these aren't translucent. They definitely aren't. I've got some nice colours there. There's another big one here that I thought would be. But that one doesn't seem to be. I'm just wondering if when I tumble it, it'll clean up enough to start. There's actually a bit of light showing through the edge. I don't know if you can see that. So maybe the surface skin is too rough for it to show light through. So definitely put that one in. I'm really excited about these. There's another one I thought ought to be translucent, but doesn't appear to be. But I think I'm going to give it a go. I'm going to put these in the barrel. I'm going to put other interesting ones in the barrel. There was one I picked up here that is absolutely black. Look how black that is. I'm going to try and put that in. But I also need to make sure, because all of these are reasonably large pebbles, I'm going to have to make sure that I put plenty of um, more filler stones in to make sure there's some movement and um, tumbling action in the barrel. Uh, so let's fill this up 
um, with the 80 grit and we'll start tumbling it. This is interesting, I thought you might like to see it. And they've been running at the 220 stage for about three weeks. Now that wasn't deliberate, it was just um, I've been quite busy on a project. Um, and I thought you'd like to see, these are dry, these stones are dry from the 220 stage. Look at the polish on them. They've actually got a pretty good polish on them just by leaving the mean at the 220 stage for much longer than I normally would do. And I think they are all like that. But look at this, beautiful stones, and they are nearly polished. In theory, I ought to put these in for the 400 grit stage, but I'm not going to. I'm going to put these straight in, I think, to the polishing stage. Look at that, it's got a really nice polish on it already. I mean I'm drying these off with a tissue so you're not seeing damp on the surface. Is that interesting? Well that begs the question is why do we go through all these stages? So let's put these in for a polish for a few days. I don't think they're going to take very long. They've already got a really nice polish on them. Gosh, just. I'm, I'm actually really surprised. So, let's put them in at the polishing stage and see what we see. Right, so we're about just under three quarters full, I would say, probably two thirds. <clears throat> I'd normally like a bit more in there, but um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to top it up with a few more plastic pellets. Now I'm going to do something slightly different to what I normally do. Normally I would put in probably two or three spoonfuls of polish but because these have already got a very good polish on them I'm just going to use one tablespoon of this is tin oxide and now I'm going to use borax powder to top it up borax powder is really cheap Get five quid for this tub So I'm putting three tablespoons of borax powder. Let's see what the result is. And obviously some water. So this is my Devon stones. I've just started pulling them out. They've been polishing for just six days. Some people ask how thick the slurry should be, you know, I tell you, is it thick enough or thin enough? And it's difficult to quantify. But there is one thing that I like to see when I open the barrel after it's been running for a few days. And I think denotes the fact that it's a good consistency of slurry. And if you look at these, the slurry is sticking to the stone all the way around, but it's still quite liquid. But as you tip the barrel you can see the stones are coated and they stay coated. If the slurry was too thin the slurry would wash away from the top of the stones and you would see the colour of the stone clearly through it. And if it was too thick it wouldn't move around much. <laughs> so this is a really good consistency of slurry. Um, sorry I digressed. 
So I've just started pulling these out and the idea was I was going to have a look at them and probably put them on again, but I'm not going to put them on again. Look at the polish on that. It's beautiful. Look at that stone. How unusual is that? Look, it looks like, I don't know, a piece of dark walnut or something. The polish is just terrific on them. So I'm going to wash these out and um, just have a look at them. Here we are, my bunch of stones that came up from Devon. I picked these up last year um, on a family trip. Uh, my one regret is that I didn't tumble them at the 80 grit stage enough. I should have been more determined to get rid of these little chips and marks. Um, one of the two of them, like this one, are almost perfect, but it's still got a couple of pinholes in it. This one is absolutely lovely, lovely colours. But again, I should have spent more time at the 80 grit stage. So very, very nice. But, you know, there's some lovely stones here. This one is, as I say, just gorgeous. Beautiful colours, beautiful patterning in it. But there's one or two here that I think, you know, really do make it worthwhile. I wasn't hiding that one, it just got under the bit of paper. <laughs> um, one of them is this, this piece here. It's lovely pinks, just, just a pretty, pretty stone. Lovely polish. This one was really unusual. Colouring there and the very black here. But again, I've got a chip in the edge of it which is a shame. This one is just stunning. I mean, it looks like, um, I don't know, a piece of old leather or something like that. Just really nice, lovely patterning in it, swirls. Lovely bit of jasper, gorgeous colours. Grey patterned egg, lovely. This is a piece that's managed to find its way through. Um, it, it was supplied with my very first rock tumbler, my National Geographic. It was part of the rock package in that. <laughs> and it's finally got through and actually got a lovely polish on it. So that's nice. But there's a couple here that really are, really make this worthwhile. And one is this. It looks for all the world like tiger's eye, but it came off a of Devon beach. Unfortunately, it's got a little chip there, but it's really, really beautiful. Look at that. Look, it looks like almost gold. Just beautiful metallic gold looking colours. And yet this came off a of beach in Devon. So next time I go down to Devon, I'm going to be hunting for stuff like this, like Billy O. And the other one is this one, which is a piece of quartz. And although it's badly um, rough on a couple of sides, it's actually completely translucent. You can actually see right through that. Really nice. It's like a piece of uh, smoky glass. That's really nice. Again, something to look out for next time I go to Devon. Some really nice jaspers. Look at that for a little lovely little piece. Make a lovely pendant. That. The shape of that. Unusual. Really pretty. That, that one is a little bit translucent. This one's lovely. Look at that. But again, could have done with longer at the 80 grit stage there. But it's not bad. There's a lovely banding in that, but it hasn't got a great polish on. I'm guessing it's a little bit softer. You can see where the tumbling has eaten away at the soft, the soft graining of the stone. Shame, because it looks ever so pretty. So there we are. Well, I hope you've enjoyed watching this. 
Um, I thought I'd tell you what the magic ingredient is to getting a polish like this. Ignoring the fact that I didn't do them for long enough at the course stage. They have got a brilliant polish. And I'll tell you what the secret is. There's a secret ingredient. And that is time. Leave them in for long enough. I often leave my stones in tumbling away for weeks sometimes and sometimes it's deliberate and sometimes it's just that I'm busy with other things. I'm not too concerned. It, you can't over tumble as far as I know you can't over tumble. All that happens is the slurry mix gets finer and finer and finer. Oh look at that. I do love jaspers. The red stones we pick up in this country are just gorgeous. Look at that. The patterning in that and the marking. That is just a lovely piece of stone. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope I haven't bored you. So uh, please come back again soon. Thanks for watching.